South Jericho destroying. Hallelujah. Let's rise up on our feet, please. As we close our eyes and raise up our two hands to the Lord and pray for ourselves loud and clear in this song. Holy God, do it again. Do it shall trouble you today. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Our Lord and our God, we thank you for this day. We praise your holy name for bringing us to this wonderful service. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. 
and so wonderful God, touch us by your power tonight. Lay your hands upon our destiny. Teach us directly from your feet. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Shout it loud, hallelujah. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Amen. On our foundation. When it comes to the prayer of foundation, you can never overpray. You can only underpray. In fact, it's better to overpray than to underpray. Haven't discussed the trouble and the problems of faulty, evil foundations. And I haven't seen the dangerous things that these foundations can do to our lives. I haven't seen many mighty men that are falling as a result of their terrible foundations. I haven't seen that the foundation has no respect for what you are building upon it, it will throw it down when it can come. Now we now need to find out how do we rebuild the foundation. Supposing the foundation is bad and now you have destroyed that foundation. How do you now rebuild the foundation? It's a very serious matter. In Psalm 11 verse 3, which is the memory verse there, can we read it together? Be never let's go. Let's read it again. If the foundation is destroyed, what can the righteous do? I want you to specially note this. Note that it is the same Bible that says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord delivered him from them all. He kept it on his bone. So that none is broken. So he said that the many afflictions of the righteous, the Lord will deliver him from them all. When he now got to foundational affliction, so what only can the righteous do? And this foundational trouble have the capacity to dribble even the righteous. Look at, let's look at our text. In Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 to 27. Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 24 to 27. Therefore, whosoever heard this sense of mine and died them, I would like him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew. And beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And everyone that heareth this sense of man and dread them not, that he might not a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand, and the rain descended, and the floods came, the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell. And great was the fall of it. Our text is telling us the importance and the power of foundation. Let's look at the introduction there. Every human based operation, establishment, and manifestation of a foundation. Every spiritually based operation, establishment, 
and manifestations to our foundation. Foundation is the platform on which a particular structure rests. It is the platform prepared for one by one's ancestors. It is one root and origin. It is also the bedrock on which any structure rests. Whether physical or spiritual. From our studies, we have seen that the Lord is a God of foundation. And we have also seen that Satan uses foundations to destroy destinies. We have also seen that ancestors spiritual, marital, ministerial foundations, etc. have great effects upon our lives. If the foundation is faulty, there is a need to destroy the old foundation and build a new one. The definitions of foundation is written therein. What do you mean by foundation? The base, the bed, bedrock, the bottom, bottom line. The this, truth of it is this. The foundation is that on which that thing is founded. The basis on which the thing is supported. So if you notice that you are battling foundational trouble. And you feel that the foundational trouble causes a lot of disaster. And that if you have troublesome foundation. It will mock your prayers. It will resist all the efforts you are putting on ground to make progress. It will laugh at your calamity when they come. It will boast that it will not let you go. It will recycle problem that has gone. It will encourage affliction to rise again a second time. It will negotiate for a person what you call an evil yearly carry over. It will fight and contend with normal prayer and normal confessions. It is foundational problem that will rather eliminate the person instead of allowing the person to prosper. And it is this kind of problem that will attach negative power to somebody. Anywhere the person goes, the person is being followed. It is foundational powers that make it so easy for the enemy to go into certain lives and come out. So easy. That is an easy ladder. Because it is this foundational powers that make some people require regular deliverance and multiple deliverance sessions yet no progress. So when they see somebody wants to help somebody with a foundational problem, the problem will deal with the helpers. Because when you say what do we do now when there is this kind of horrible foundation and I want you to know that a business has a foundation a marriage has a foundation a continent has a foundation a family has a foundation a school has a foundation a house has a foundation and whatever business you are doing as a foundation, oh, you, oh, you, oh, you, whatever you, establishment you put on ground, they have their own foundations. Oh, you, That's why when you see something beginning to shake, the first thing you should check, foundation. 
How did it start? Bawo lo shebere. How did it start? Bawo lo shebere. What happened? Ki lo shele. Foundation. Ipele. I want you to understand this very well. Now, when the foundation is bad, and you are praying some foundational or preaching prayers, you need to now build, build that foundation. What are the steps towards doing that? That is what is carefully outlined in this handout in your hand, which I recommend that you keep. It is not possible to completely cover everything here within the time we have. But we are going to make sure you get the meat of it, the, the real foundation of it. And what you must never leave undone. Let me point out that what we are saying today leaves nobody behind. Because if you don't know where you are coming from, you may not know where you are going. If you don't know that you are a leaf, from a tree and you don't want to know what kind of tree it is then you are in trouble serious trouble majority of the problems that come to the house of God that look so difficult to resolve they are all foundational in nature I want you to Get this very clearly. What are the steps of us to rebuilding the foundation? Number one is to approach the old foundation. Approach that old foundation. The Bible says every tree that the Father has not planted shall be rooted up and thrown into the fire. How is it was or seen you know? What the first procedure is the uprooting of that old foundation. For the past fourteen weeks we have been dealing with this. So put that old foundation that if it and it's it's a very serious matter. You know because the foundation is underneath the earth. Underneath that earth it is very dark inside. And there is no way you are going to walk on foundation without getting your hands dirty. This is why some pastors run away from this kind of thing. And instead of saying we are running away because we are afraid of oh. it. They say there is nothing like deliverance. Nothing like foundation. Instead of saying I am afraid. Because in the in trying to look at the foundation, there may be more trouble that will come up. I want you to understand that one. So the person you has you uprooted the whole foundation, that has to be thoroughly done. That is why, why you go for deliverance? You take prayer points and begin to pray. You start dealing with that kind of foundation. And literally you will put that old foundation. The first thing you notice is that you notice improvement. Some changes. And what is going on around you? you notice some changes in what is happening in your life. That's evidence. Sometimes by coming to a prayer meeting like this, by just praying one prayer, a transaction could take place immediately. That will make your life to move. But because we can't see into the foundation because it's deep, it's dark, 
It's just like that building over there. You can see the surface of the building, but you cannot see what's under. In Toripe, Oleri, Pile, Odu, 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 only somebody who is not honest will tell you it's very easy. And it's you can show low turn you as of all pressure to run on it. I want you to understand this. Okay, okay, okay. You, 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 you. A sister noticed. And I've been in low case. After four years in the university. Lay it or do many little capacity. No, and she spent the four years to just go from one class to the other. Or do many looking low latin class it was so many with very terrible struggling. The lucky thing on that. Any time there was an important examination. But he don't but I give him a way. Our exam paper should just disappear. I will wait on this. You don't want to need it. Then we will trace it. Oh, she didn't move it over. Until she began to pray. I will battle by a seat by the way. That's a foundational matter. All right, we'll let me. When she pray to a level. But all right, we'll let me. We'll let me present the Lord shoulder. We'll let me pray. That there was an ancestor who was a satanic priest. And they are sold off all the children's virtues, even before they were born. So he had to start recovering a whole. I pray that if you are here tonight and you have a satanic ancestor that has captured the virtue of people in areas before you were born, you shall recover your own body. The second thing to do, oh, we can just only let you say, we want to rebuild the foundation. We prefer to be the core is to carry out a spiritual mapping. You pay to see a year when you part of me concerning yourself, you part of the your family, a bit of your community, a bit of your nation, a little bit of your career. Your marriage, depending on which foundation you desire to repair. This will enable you to obtain information and to repent of any wickedness done by your ancestors. There you will see the example of the city of Jericho. Where Joshua cast the city. Ti Joshua fi ilu onre and it had to take an Elisha o si ni loke Elisha wa to reverse the curse on the city of Jericho lati yi ego to nbe lori Jericho pada so if somebody brought the problem of Jericho to you then you come back be sure Jericho wa so you never knew that it was caused by a man of god you was mo ko ji se olorun lo fire you try and solve the problem it will not be solved you need to carry out what you call spiritual mapping while carrying out spiritual mapping you may need to ask questions you may need to sit people down in your family and ask questions if they are already dead and there is nobody to ask questions then ask the Holy Spirit the Bible says secret things belong unto the Lord the information you are going to need we include the following. For example, who were your parents to the third and the fourth generation? What names did they bear? What were their occupations? What were their characters? Certainly, if your father was a chief drummer in your village, you may be struggling with poverty now. If your father was the one that used to ring the bell at the front of the masquerade, you may be passing through some stress now. You need to find these things out. 
I'm amazed that in this modern world, you ask some people, what's the meaning of your name? They say, I don't know. I don't know. Go and find out. No, what do you? By the time they come back, say, what? We were in a West African country. I couldn't speak their language. But as I was praying for this man, the Lord said, ask him for the meaning of his name. So I stopped. So I drew. Say, so Mr. Man, please, what's your name? She told me, what's your son name? Both of them were in languages I don't understand. I said, what do they mean? The, his own name meant darkness. His own father's name means dry land. I said, so your name is Darkness, dry lands. And I'm praying that God should bless darkness. We have to work on that name. You should ask questions. Those your parents, what did they involve themselves in? What activities did they carry out when they lived? What was what were the occupation? Were they hunters? Were they fishermen? If they were hunters, all of suddenly you need deliverance. What gods did they worship? What gods did they serve? How did they get their own names? Then the names they were given to their children, where did it originate from? Did they consult an oracle and say, What's the name of this child? And the oracle said, Give the child his name. What were the shrines or altars of the family? Who are the priests serving behind this altar? Were there curses or litigations placed on the family? Were there any particular trends found in the family line? How did they handle the placenta of people in this family? Do they bury it and plant coconut tree or plant coconut tree or plant okra tree on top of it well, if that is what they do then it will affect your life now by 1994 when we got here we prayed with a sister because it was finding it so difficult to marry so difficult to settle down. If she found somebody that one will run away, she won't find the person again. She prayed. Some of the kinds of prayers we are going to pray just now. And the Lord came to her in a dream. I said, my daughter, you want to know what is wrong? Go and ask your grandmother. Next morning she went there. So grandmother was praying and the Lord said, You have information for me. I said, My daughter, that's very good of you. Sit down. I will tell you. So, but before I begin to talk, go and buy me a bottle of Dubonet. Lord, I go. Dubonet, you are. I said, I won't contest a call. I can't buy it. Uh, so then I will not talk. Uh, let's, let me give you much. Let me give you much. Uh, so you can go and buy it. Uh, not how much the woman drank it. Uh, I said, listen. Very carefully. Say, I am inside you. And you are inside me. So what does that mean? Say so well, when you were born, I was the one that gave your placenta to me. I cooked it. I ate it. I 
So you are inside me. It will know what know me. I'm inside you. You know if you know. I decide what happened to you. Emi ni won pe no to nse le si o. The only way I won't be the one decide what happened to you. Ko si bi won se ni je ni to pe no to nse. O no ti mo bi le je ni ti ko ni so ohun ti o se le si o. Unless you find a way of breaking the connection between me and you. Ni to ba le wa bo se ja so po to nbe laarin emi ati re. Was then the sister began to pray. Ngba no lara mi wa bere si gbadura. Do you really know what happened to your placenta? Do you know to sell it so you be tired? Those are questions you should ask. I'm very sorry, Lord, that you believe. What marks or incisions are on the body of the children? If you are me, I be a power low or loud, I want more. And why did they put those marks and incisions there? Kini, did you want to see me? I tell you, I want better now. See be. If you if you if you remove your clothes now, you find marks on your body, and you don't understand what they are there for. Ask questions. Go back. She are as if they don't see. Ba wa mi tabi a wa pa kola la re. To mo i di don't be wa mbe be re oro. These and so many other questions you must ask if you want to carry out a thorough spiritual matter. I want a better one. Ya ti a wa mi no la ni lo la ti be re ba ba be she a ye wo te mi lo ti to. Who gave you all your names? Ani so lo a wa ruko to nje. Where did those names come from? Bo la wa ruko na ti wa. You should ask questions. Lo la ti be re. If you are trying to map a community, o ma ngbe yan ju lati se wa di ni pa adupo kan. Maybe where you come from? Oya ibi to ti wa. You ask, begin to ask questions. What's the meaning of the name? Oh, be the kini tumo uruko be. The name this place bears. Uruko tumi inge kini tumo re. Who established this community? Tale ni to te luido. What are the names of the key leaders? Kini uruko a wa dari atala shebe. What are the activities that take place here? Kila wa inshele to inshe ni bi. Are there traditions you uphold there? I want Shati. Why is it that they come out? You want to see God to do something? You want to reach out and want Bonnie Bay? Are there altars or shrines that are serviced here? In there, we can pray to both you, both we need to be, need be, to want, to want low. Are there taboos, curses, litigations on that place? There are more a war. A do not be for your war, Lordy Bay. Are there sacrifices and all kinds of? The money festival they hold here. She won't say I want it to be here. Your your Satan you need to run away. Why is this in this particular community? They always make these particular sacrifices before certain things are done. Kini she do ya kweni lui wan la di she ru I want it to come control the bi I want it. Why do they make certain sacrifices before they join a man and husband as husband and wife? Kini she do man she I want it to come control the swa kuni ato bini kwa gaja bi okwa taya. Why should they put a broom down and those who want to get married they will say that you jump over the broom? Kini she. Why should I take a baby to the river and try and put water from the river into the mouth of a newborn baby? Kini she do not go on a day to do no lossy eighty or do two as he blow me or do a one fifty and no more touch a bee. What is New Year Festival? Why do you want to celebrate New Year Festival? Kini she do not share a bee shoe. Who is eating the New Year? Why do you want to eat it? Kini she do not share a bee shoe. Who is eating the New Year? Why do you want to eat it? Kini she do not share a bee shoe. These are questions. We need to answer. And it's a very, very serious matter. Oh, see, God, I told you, things have happened. I won't go to jail. Things are happening. I won't go to jail. Strange, strange things. I won't go to jail. And we need to carry out a thorough spiritual map. As in, you know, let us share your wounds, but tell me. And so now you are having trouble with your marriage. Ah, well, I will only show up when you go there. How did you find that husband? How did you find that wife? Who told you to marry that woman? Who told you to marry that man? What were the prophets that prayed with you? And who asked you to go to the prophets? Did God tell you anything? Or you married on the basis of long legs, slim figure, fast car, Queen's English? Abu Ofe, ni tori pe se ego tiri. Ogbo yin bo le so ge si dada o ngun oko ayo kele to dangaja ba wo lo se je foundation ipele you must carry out a mapping o gbodo se aye wo of what happen o n to se le that's the second thing o won ikeji ni yen to was rebuilding the foundation baba fe tun ipele ko third thing o won keta you must seek for spiritual assistance why you no know, lowo te mi From those operating in apostolic and prophetic offices. Lord, I want to share, share apostolically at you only. Meaning, go to the right church. Hey, Nikwe, if you don't yet, total Nikwe, go to the right place. Be total Nikwe, 
go to where they will assist you don't die in ignorance and in pride go to where you may be assisted it doesn't matter what people say it is not all ministers I you understand things about foundation, about prayer, about intercession. In fact, the other day in prayer city, I almost collapsed when a bishop in this country was telling me, Dr. Lukoya, my ministry is not a minister of prayer. Bishop. Oh yeah, Milenu ni lua gira lojo kanti bishop kanto ni dokita Lukoya. Ishe eno she eto, ishe ishe eno she adura. So what is this ministry? If he's not praying. No, but when she adura, he wa nishe eno she eno. So there you are. Only yeah. And in many of these places, they're teaching people what would destroy them. Lopo lopo ura wong ele she eno she be wong ashima kwa wong ni yon ning kanti yo pa wong. Somebody is being fed in the dream every night, and when she wakes up. She will feed the taste of okra soup and pandejam in her mouth. Ni bo bo ru ni wong be unje wa fun eni kan lo ju ala o si nje bo ba ta ji lo uro. Yo ke si pe adun wo be la o iwa lenu o. She went to the bishop. The bishop said, "Well, wa lo ba bishop bishop ni e the solution. Ona ba yo. Maybe it's a long time you have eaten pandejam and okra soup. Bo yo ti pe to ti je iyan ato be lapo and your stomach is craving for it. E ku re ti ti n bere ila ati what do you do you to buy yams? You want to wa ra isu pound it very well. Go 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 da cook a good okra soup for wa fun ra re si obe ila and eat. O si je that's all. O pa ri ti be. God will help all of us. Allah wa no gugu Allah o. Look for those who know what they are doing. Wa, I want to mount one sheet. I was sharing this at the prophetic conference. In a place like London, this may be very difficult for you to believe. You know, we have Majidu River here. We have Babish where people go to have spiritual bath. In a place like London, they do it for them now too. Bath them in river. All kinds of terrible things. Ministers who don't know they arrive from their left. Somebody is being troubled by water spirit. You took the person back to the river for a bath. So they can finish the person thoroughly. In Lagos here recently. A minister of God was telling me this. A pastor, Pentecostal pastor, said the members of the church when they are coming for the prayer meeting, they should buy padlock and bring. Padlock. That when they come with the padlock, they should speak to the padlock all the good things they want in their lives. And they should lock it. Then they should surrender the key to him. Then they should throw the padlock away into a place they cannot see it again. And do you know? People did it. Four. Okay. Do not breed or plant on faulty ground. You must uproot. Through down. Go falule. Through down. Go destroy. Go see. Along where you can build or plant. Iripile be kutole bin kanta bi do ko mu mi si. Faulty ground. Ma se ko nko n so ri plant on faulty ground. Ma gbin kan want to start afresh now. Ba be bere lo tun bayi. Don go start wrongly again. Ma tun lo si bere. 5. Ikaru. We're talking about rebuilding the foundations. An so ni pa ti tun ipinle ko carry out every necessary restitution she to gbo atun she to to ni lati se restitution to gbo atun she 
To restitute is to return a thing to the rightful owner. That is here. To show to us, he let it down. Father, for long. Look at the book of Proverbs. I just can't wait, wait, wait. Proverbs chapter six, verse thirty. He will we will take far as he will Proverbs six thirty. He will we will take far as he will go. Proverbs six thirty says, "Oh, we pray." Men do not despise a thief if he steals to satisfy his soul when he's hungry. But if he be found, he will be punished. But if he be found, he will be punished. He shall restore sevenfold. He shall give all the substance of his house. If you have been stealing, you need to bring back what. You need to return what you have been stealing. Bo ba tin jale oni lo lati da un to unji yen pada. In Exodus chapter twenty two. Exodus ori keji le ni ogun. This is what is called restitution. On ta ngwe ni atoshe ni. Exodus twenty two. Exodus ori keji le lo gun. Verse one. That is a kini. Exodus twenty two from verse one has this to say. Exodus ori keji le lo gun. That is a kini ogu pe. Exodus twenty two from verse one. Exodus ori keji le lo gun. That is a kini. If a man shall steal an ox, be a kore kamba ji a koma lu or a sheep, ta be a gutonto and kill it. Jose pa or sell it. Ta be tota. He shall restore five oxen for an ox. Yo so a koma lu manu di ko a koma lu or four sheep for a sheep. If a thief be found breaking up, be a body or let him rule, 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 and be smiling that he die. There is a lot of blood. There shall no blood be shed for him. At your time, yes, he left him. If the sun be risen upon him, be a rumba laba. There shall be blood shed for him. Our time, yes, he left him. We should make full restitution. This only on way back. So if he have nothing, be a ninko. Then it shall be sold for his theft. In the outer, need to be alive. If the theft be suddenly found in his hand alive, be a body on two children, no one need to go lie. Ox or ass or sheep, if I shall come and loot, I be kept against the table of God. He shall restore double. O one son, father, the meji double, meji. I look at Luke chapter nineteen. I will look where he can continue go. Verse eight. I say, okay, John. Luke chapter nineteen. Luke. Ori ko kodini ogun verse 8 This is This is Zacchaeus Zacchaeus ure o Luke Luke chapter 19 Ori ko kodini ogun verse 8 Ese ikejo And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord Zacchaeus si dide o si wi fun Oluwa pe Behold Lord wo Oluwa the half of my goods I give to the poor Abohun ni mi ni mo fi fun talaka If I have taken anything from any man by false accusation Bi mo ba si fi eso e ke gba ohun kan lowo enikeni I restore him for Restitution contains several ingredients. Apollo for Eroja, Lombeni Nore. One, a coco healing. It was on. Two, a cage. Truth, a tito. Three, a keta reconciliation. Ilaja. Four, a keni recompense. A dapada. Five, a caro reconstruction. A toko. Six, a kefa reparation. Seven, the future, the consile. Restitution is a great healing. It's a great healer in healing and rebuilding the foundation. Atujeje olu wason la ni ni wosati. This way to the core cannot be overlooked. Ah, si le foju foda. If you are doing what you are doing now, boban she unto unche ni si si. Using a false certificate to as a foundation. But we we are here to do. No matter what foundational prayer you pray, you do not feel you will go back. Until you make restitution, you are not going anywhere. Have you told Basha to say you need to come here? You have stolen money. What did you owe to go and build something for yourself? That's a lock on, lock on. Now that thing which you have built is not having trouble. Oh, to work on, oh, to earn it, damn. Until you do the restitution, have you told Basha to say all the foundational prayers are wasted time? I want to do it. Feel it, don't buy it. If I go wash your phone, you have stolen a wife. Oh, dear, I have been. Somebody is living with you now. And you come back when it is no engagement. Oh, damn. No dowry. Oh, so worry. No marriage. Oh, she be yahoo. And you are going to press it to this deliverance. Oh, I don't see to see any law. You don't waste see your time. You come back, go wash your phone. You need to go and make restitution. Only the last law she has to say your case is. It's like the case of somebody 
who wants to run 100 meters race oro re da bi eni to fe sa ere ibuso ni gbo o o gorun but his leg is broken igbo se re ti da what should he do now? The first thing for him to do is to go and repair the broken leg. Then he will be able to run. But if he decides to run a hundred meters dash with a broken leg, he will lose. Many of us have a decision to make. Perhaps we were working in a place before. And you stole there. And there is a problem now. You need to make a restitution. He said, ah, that will put me in serious trouble. That's why you need to go to a man of God and explain yourself so they will teach you what to do. Since you here today. And in your hand now there are materials bought for you by both boyfriends. They, didn't, they said they wanted to marry you. They didn't marry you, but what they bought for you, you are still keeping it. You have to throw them off. Oh, you have to throw them off. Make restitution. Perhaps I hear you. Oh, you are not happy. And because of how much money you sold your birthright. You sold your virginity because of Naira. And now you're having trouble. You need to go and make restitution. You need to repair your way. You need to go back and say, Well, this was wrong. I wrongly took this. This has to go back to where it came from. I told him, 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 I I told him, I told him, I told him, I told him, I I told him, I told him, I told him, or sell it and just donate the money to the things of God. Restitution is very, very important to rebuilding the foundation of our lives. Number six. There must be deep, deep repentance. Psalm 51 verse 17. David said that the sacrifices of God are a broken spirit. A broken and a contract at O oh God, thou will not despise. For you to rebuild your foundation, there must be deep repentance. Deep, deep repentance. Without that deep repentance, we can't move forward. Find out what has been done. What do you want to Find out what is wrong about it. What do you want to turn it away? And then make amends immediately. True restitution must be preceded by true repentance. Without repentance, there cannot be a rebuilding of new foundations. What is repentance? That is what is now outlined there. Because this Let's is say. where we get it all wrong. Many when they go for deliverance don't know that they need to bring deep repentance unto the Lord. Your repentance must be at Accompanied by absolute obedience to what God wants you to do. Your repentance will move God to arise on your behalf. What is repentance? A total sacrifice and surrender of oneself to obey and submit to the word of God in all situations. That's what we call repentance. What is repentance? It's to deny self. 
Take up your cross daily and follow Jesus. And this is your flesh is giving one instruction. You turn it down. What is repentance? Is to come to Jesus with an attitude of I can't do it on my own. What is repentance? Is to come to Jesus broken in a hopeless, helpless, unworthy state. And what is repentance? Is to turn around and go in the opposite direction. You are going one way, you change your journey to another way. That is what repentance is. What is repentance? Is to change one's mind. Your mind is set on certain things. But now you decide. To change your mind completely. What is repentance? Is to feel remorse and self-reproach. For one sins against God. What is repentance? Repentance is to be contrite before God and to be sorry and feel terrible about our sins. What is repentance? Repentance is to want to a change of direction. You are going one way, you go the other way. Now. What is repentance? It's for you to have a godly sorrow for your sins. It's possible to be sorry that you were caught because you did something wrong. But repentance is godly sorrows for sin. What is repentance? Is to put off the old man. And put on the new man. What is repentance? It's a spiritual regret by a sinner. Who is convinced by the Holy Spirit? What is repentance? It's a spiritually produced remorse and sorrow of heart at having sinned. What's repentance? It's a painful awareness of one's spiritual poverty. What is repentance? It is the way that God changes our behavior. What is repentance? It is one sorrow is joined with repentance and a change life. Then you have true repentance. What is repentance? It's a complete reversal of one's attitude and values. It is hating what you once loved and loving what you once hated. What is repentance? This is your hand releasing the filthy objects that cling to. It's a complete surrender. A stop. A turn. A and a change. What is repentance? It's a deep, radical, fundamental, and lasting change. It's a sinner who surrenders himself to Jesus. A U turn. 
and the thief returning what it has stolen so for complete rebuilding of the foundations repentance is absolutely compulsory for example if you have a bad marital foundation you need to confess the sexual immorality you are engaging before marriage and to repent of them it is for education you need to repent and repair your ways if you are working with a forged certificate repentance is absolutely compulsory it is after that number 7 you ask for forgiveness then God will be able to forgive you when you ask him to forgive you you do not go back to the sins again when somebody commits sins and you go back to it again and begin to ask for forgiveness it is unlikely that you repented the first time number 8 you need to renounce all the evils that you have done by you or your ancestors break all the evil covenants nine you do not return to those things that will bring you or your descendants to bondage anymore number ten you then you begin to build yourself in the word of God and in deep prayers and fasting and in heaven you must not neglect the assembly of the saints regular meeting with the saints regular fellowship and twelve you should now ensure that your business your wealth the whole of your life has transparent sources. Then 13, you have to commit yourself to serving the Lord all the days of your life. As we see in Luke chapter 1, Luke chapter 1, Luke, I read verse 74 to 75. Luke 1, 74 to 75. Luke, that he will grant unto us that we be delivered out of the hands of the enemy my serving without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life Luke 1 74 to grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might now serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our lives and it is after our deliverance we should now serve God without fear in holiness and righteousness all the days of our life the conclusion there is it is important to deal with our faulty foundation and also to build new foundation where necessary foundational repair is hard work and most people try to avoid it the blunt truth is that if we do not deal with our faulty foundation it will deal with us later on 
A vision can remain on a faulty foundation for a long time. But one day, there will be a serious problem. Look at Luke 1, 74, 75 again. That he who shall receive the word of the Lord and keep it. And after our deliverance, after we have been delivered out of the hands of our enemies, then we serve the Lord without fear, holiness, righteousness, righteousness before Him all the days of our life. So, if you want to put all this together, when you have a foundation that is bad, and you have already taken yourself through all kinds of deliverance, there are four key things you must never miss. Number one is the spiritual mapping. There is no escape from that one. With the spiritual mapping, you are able to address everything that was wrong in your foundation. You can lay your hands physically and spiritually upon all the shrines in your family and destroy them. The ones that are not even available now that your life is gone before you were born, you can still lay your spiritual hands on them and deal with them. That one is important. It's not that you can do with that one. Number two, kid, the repentance one cannot be left out. It's a major part of rebuilding the foundation. Because there's a lot of only repentant Christians who come to church. There's a lot of counterfeit repentance that we see. Many, many unconverted people in the house of God. There's a lot of mixed multitude amongst God's people. Who really are not repentant. That's why you find people abhorring unforgiveness. And yet they are praying against evil foundation. The foundation will say no. You can't change me. Because we were built here on lies. So you can't change us now. When you are a liar, a liar yourself. We need to repent on behalf of our lives. Our the third thing is asking the Lord for forgiveness. That key is very important. We need to do that one. And the fourth key that you must not miss out. So if you miss out on all keys. Is to renounce those evils that have been done before. And break every evil covenant. Tonight, we have prayers to pray here. Which is a very, very serious thing. All good deliverance services. The first message on any deliverance grant should be a message of repentance. Not message of prosperity. Not message of water spirit or this is repentance. When that repentance comes in, you make your restitution. Do the renunciations. Then God will now move him. And begin to do what you want to do. Tonight we have to pray. I'd like you to rise up on your feet. The kind of prayers we're going to pray are the prayers that go deep. There are just three of them. And those three should be prayed 
violently. And like it back, but it back. Those three should be prayed. I'm at a one like it down with all your strength and with all your energy. But look at both one at your power. Believing that God that has brought you here. God, but what we learn to move our feet. Who knows all things? Who can do all things? The moon will go to the sun. The moon will go. And who does not know what to call emergency? Because the moon and when it pass, Jah will. And who is the God of the suddenness? So you learn to think the logic. Who visits you? You be who? You will shout this louder than anyone here. Oh, kibele alone, rather you go burn him. You know what he's burning below. Because it will be. If you're a black person, but you are doing our own. There's no way to escape from what we're going to pray about now. Oh, sibo, she le sa sa la kulo lo wo unti ansoi. Foundational idol power. Agbara Orisha iran diran in my family line ninu ebi mi can you say that loud and clear o be lo ra ra da in the name of jesus you call jesus deal with the foundation of idol power o go ti agbara orisha iran ma se te ka ya bo se te ra ba se in jesus name we pray loru ko jesus lagba dura say every good thing bo bo urere that my foundation has stolen from my life I recover you by fire. In the name of Jesus. Recover what the foundation has stolen. In the name of Jesus. Recover what it has stolen from you. In Jesus. Name we pray. Lord, call Jesus. That's what we pray. This is number three. Ike tari. And this number three. Ike tano. Is the kind of prayer that sister prayed. The road, the road. Tala bini yengba. About eleven years ago. The oduma kong la se yin. And secrets were revealed. That one she did it far away. Shout this loud and clear. Kigbele lo ra ra. My father. Baba mi. This is my foundation. Bei ku le mi wo with your axe of fire. Pelu ake ina re. Can you shout this loud and clear? Ki kere lo ra. Make it louder than that. Okay, so ke ju be lo. This is my foundation. In the name of Jesus. Let there be a visitation. Yeah, keep it. We shall. Masete kaya bo shente ra bo koton de shente. Yes, 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 yes. Let there be a visitation of the foundation. Yeah, keep it. We will not shall. In Jesus' name, we pray. Lord, we call Jesus. Baba, Baba. Now, this is it. Where you are, be to one. Begin to meditate. Ma sha sha ru. On your life. Dori aye re. Are you where God wants you to? Se bi to Olorun fe ko wa lo wa. Have you noticed an evil trend? Abo ti case ilana buburu that is troubling you. Bo nda olamu. Have you noticed? O ati case that when things want to walk away then in come back there in green come back make sure they for something goes wrong can why you all have you noticed or a case that wealth come close to you the aura you small but vanishes the battle poor have you noticed or a case that all those who are supposed to help the book by what they are going on hello they said not to help you see no one point of one you know hello you noticed or a case that where You go. Baby, to Obalo. What you are supposed to get out of it? Oh, to your Korimbe. The enemy takes a large volume of it away. It told you no re otalongba. Get yourself prepared. Morasi levai. I should stretch forward your hand now. In both it tell what I mean. And begin to prophesy unto those hands. Oh, I saw. I saw. Tell it to your what? That these hands. Well, what one you should recover? 
everything the enemy has done. But by the spirit of prophecy, and the hands begin to move, and recover everything the enemy has done. In Jesus' name, we pray. Lord, for Jesus, we love Wonderful God, we thank you for this evening. We pray, O oh Lord, that that which needs to be rooted up, that which needs to be thrown down, that which needs to be destroyed in our lives as individuals. Oh God, arise. Let your power begin to fulfill them. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Glory to Jesus. In all the feathers he has brought. In all the feathers. Hallelujah. Set me free. He has set me free. I will sing. Hallelujah. I will sing. I will sing. Hallelujah. I will sing. I will sing. Lay your light on your head, brother. Be a what to the Lord, if I am. Set my head. Oh, leave me. You are the symbol of my destiny. I will affair and your mommy. Prosper by fire. Be a what to the Lord, if I am. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Prosper by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. My glory. Oh, go me. All right. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. My glory. Oh, go me. Arise and shine. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Ah, 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 ah. In Jesus' name we pray. Glory to Jesus. I fire back, mortar, every arrow, go fire, fired against my head. Do you want to see your evil father? Please pray this very well. Can you shout it loud and clear? Mortar, go fire. You want a story, my father. In the name of Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Fire by the arrows. In the name of Jesus. Ah, 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 ah. In Jesus' name we pray. Three more prayers. You, you may remove your hand from your head. Every contrary knee. The knees that are contrary. Bobo e kuntolodi. 
Can you shout this loud and clear? Let's keep it alone, rather. Worshipping idols against me. Tomba Orisha, lo disimi. Can you say this loud and clear? Let's keep it alone. Bogwe kuto lo di. Tomba Orisha, lo disimi. Skata! Kuta! In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Scatter the contrary leaves. To away kuto lo di no ka. In the name of Jesus, every contrary name, worshiping idols against me, scatter. Yes. In the name of Jesus, scatter. In the name of Jesus, every contrary name. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, we call Jesus, Lord, we pray. Say, I shall receive the honor. I shall receive the honor. More by Allah. That they say I will not receive. Do you want me to In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Yes, the honor. Receive it in the name of Jesus. This is the final prayer point here. Before we go home. And this prayer is for so many people here. And we therefore need to pray it well. Uncommon breakthroughs. Look at me. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Let them come and break this location. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, we Jesus. Let us share the grace in fellowship. Jesus Christ, the love of God. And that's it.